What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome to a special edition unboxing video. This is my P.O. Box present series, episode 23. I apologize again to all of you guys who have sent me stuff. I always fall behind on my P.O. Box presents unboxings, but I'm gonna try to stick with it, and I like have a shelf with organization and everything, so we'll see how it goes. Anyways, in this video, we're gonna be unboxing about five or six different boxes, and, uh, and then I'll do another video coming up because I have a few more things, so I'm gonna split it into two videos. So if you sent me something, hopefully you'll see it between this video or next video. All right, let's get started. The first box that we have is from Rose, and she's from Guam, which is crazy. That's so far. I can't even imagine how much did it cost to... Actually, hey, it didn't cost that much to ship this box to me. Maybe it's not as far as I thought. All right, once you get the tape, you open the box, you see this. Let's see what Rose sent me. Here's a letter. So she basically talks about how She's a fan of my channel and that she likes my uh, unboxing videos and apparently I was uh, her first recommended video after watching her first unboxing video. So YouTube sometimes puts me in the little recommend section so that's really cool. She likes uh, Chris Evans and his portrayal of Captain America. She put a box together of things that she thought I would like. She ended up with PPS Hawkeye's freaking awesome. Heck yes he is. Rose, thank you so much. I don't know what you sent me but thank you so much. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, the first thing she sent me is this poster. So this is an anime poster. Oh, this is from um, Word Art Online. This poster is like holographic a little bit, which is cool. So this is an anime poster right there. Next, she sent me a novel. It's Nicholas Sparks' The Wedding. Nicholas Sparks is the person who wrote The Notebook, right? Because I loved that. I actually read that book and I loved the movie. So there is a Nicholas Spark novel. Next, she sent me this bag. It's a GameStop bag and it has a bunch of stuff in it. Let's check it out. There is this music bookmark. I can use that for the novel. There is a set of Harry Potter chopsticks, which I love. I love chopsticks and I do use them all the time. Didn't realize how much Asian food I actually eat. Oh, this is super cool. Okay, we have a lanyard, and this has the evolutions of Charmander, although there's this one that I don't really know, so I don't know if it is different. It's this blue guy, so I don't know if he trans or evolves into a different character that I didn't know, but it's one of those lanyards that has the unclippy, which I love, and then the, of course, Charmander metal thing. That's very nice. I love that. We have this Star Wars lightsaber keychain. That is always very nice. I love this as well. Oh, this is cool. We've got a bunch of different types of stickers. <laughs> I like this one. It's Darth Vader in an Adidas soccer outfit, it looks like. Blastoise. We have a Charmander sticker. Charizard. There's a DC sticker. Spider-Man sticker. Is this David Beckham? Because if it is, I love David Beckham. That's like young David Beckham. Okay, very cool. So there's a little pack of stickers. Next we have a keychain of the Pink Ranger. I absolutely love the Pink Ranger in the new, or the remake of the Power Ranger movie. I thought she was awesome. We have a Batman keychain. Here's a Pikachu sticker, must have fallen out. We have this little Hogwarts necklace, and this is the little charm that's on it. Has all the houses on there. Here's an I love Guam keychain. Thank you, thank you, Rose. I've never been to Guam, but I do love Guam. And then we have two pins. These are Harry Potter pins, right there. So there's everything in the GameStop bag. And then we have Star Wars sticky notes. Ooh. Oh, this is cool. Oh, the light's so bright. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's basically different sticky notes here. They're all different shapes. Ooh, I love this. That's very cool. I can use that at work. And then the last item that we got is, it's a coloring book. It's a Harry Potter Magical Places and Characters. Post it's a postcard coloring book. Oh, that's fancy. So these are all like coloring pages, but they're all postcards. So I could technically color these and then send them to people. That actually would be fun. I have to get some uh, colored pencils or whatever you use. All right, that is everything. Rose from Guam, thank you very much. I loved all of the items. Has anyone read this novel? Is it good? The Wedding. I've never heard of it, but I'm down to try reading it. All right, next is this box from Hot Topic. And I want to apologize because I want to say that this box is from... Jessica and I actually had this box when I did my last P.O. Box presence unboxing, but I got confused and thought that 
this was something that I bought, so I set it aside, and then I realized that it wasn't, so then I haven't opened it because I haven't done a P.O. Box Presents unboxing since then. So, Jessica, if this is from you, I apologize that this took me so long to open. So let's check out what she got me. She bought me something from Hot Topic. All right. Ooh, these are pop mystery boxes. Nice! I don't know what set these are from. Oh, these are from the Fallout series where they had a uh, Vault Boy. Okay. Now the question is, should we unbox these now or should I do a separate video for them? What do you guys think? Let's go ahead and unbox these now, huh? Let's have some fun with it. So she got me four of these bad boys. I almost bought these and I didn't. Just because I'm not the biggest fan of Fallout, but I did like the different options that they had. I forgot what the chase was, but she got four of them for me. So let's go ahead and open these up and see what they look like. Now, the question is, do you think we're going to be lucky enough to get one of each type, including the chase? You have to be pretty lucky to do that. All right, here we go. The first one that we got, they always come in these mystery boxes. Here are the different type. Sorry, I didn't really show them to you. What do you guys think it is? What do you guys think it is? Can you tell from the top? All right, we got the medic. And it looks like the chase is adamantium skeleton, which actually looks really cool. There, right there. Okay, so we got the medic. Let's see what this one is. Like I said, I don't know if they look any different on the top, but let's see. Okay, this one is just charisma. Very nice. Okay, we're two for two. Not bad. The medic one is cooler than the charisma one. The charisma one's kind of plain, but I guess if you like that, if you like the pop's a little bit more plain, then you might like that one. You might enjoy that one. This one kind of came in not the best condition. The box is a little bit dented. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, we got another charisma. So no chance for us to get the entire set, but let's see if maybe we can get at least Toughness, which is the one that kind of looks like Superman. I wouldn't mind the skeleton one, because that one's actually really cool looking, but I don't know how limited the chases were, so. I'm sure the chances of getting that one are pretty slim. All right, let's check it out. I don't know if all the tops look the same. Oh, we got another medic. Okay, so we got out of the four, we got two medics and two charisma. So there's four total in the set, three regulars and one chase, and we ended up get we ended up getting duplicates of two of them. So not too bad though. And the duplicate ones I can put in my giveaway, which is nice. So Jessica, if this is from you, then thank you very much. I'm not oh maybe it says on here. Actually I can look. Let me look. Okay, there's no note. So I'm gonna assume that this is from Jessica. I believe it was Jessica. Jessica Adkins, is this from you? If it is, thank you very much for sending these to me. I apologize for taking so long to open them. But thank you, because I actually meant to buy some of these and I just didn't get the chance. So I'm glad that I got to at least unbox a few of them. But yes, thank you very much, Jessica. Appreciate it. The next box we have is an Amazon box. If you guys are able to leave gift notes, make sure you do that so I know who actually sent me the packages. Sometimes I don't know. All right, well, this looks really fancy. It says... A gift for you. Is this what? They, they paid for the gift wrapping, which I'm always too cheap to pay for the gift wrapping. It's like $3 more, although this is actually really nice and fancy. Here's, I'm assuming, the gift card. Oh, I just looked at what it was. Oh. Jody, this is from Jody. Hey girl, I hope you don't already have this. I hope you enjoy it. This is from Jody. Jody Sampson. Oh my gosh. What is it? Well, I already know what it is because I saw the receipt. My bad, my bad. I should have um, opened the bag before I looked at that. Sometimes it's hard. You know, you're so used to opening cards before you open, um, oh, I see. I could have just opened this card and it had the same thing. My bad. Wow, I really messed that one up. All right, so I believe this is a shirt. Oh my God, I am so excited and no, I do not have this shirt. OMG, I am so excited. I didn't even realize they sell this shirt on Amazon. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have a Nickelodeon shirt. This is a men's medium, it's black. Look at that, this is a rocket power shirt. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Wiggity, 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 wiggity. Oh, Jody, very cool, thank you so much. I love this shirt. I love rocket power, you guys. It's one of my favorite Nicktoons. Such a good show. Thank you for getting it gift wrapped. I think that was the first time I've ever gotten anything Amazon gift wrapped before. All right, we have this letter. I don't know who it's from. You know what's so funny? This is actually something from, um, I bought on eBay. It's, it's, a bunch, it's a bunch of keys, it's for work. I thought I just, I thought it got lost in the mail, to be honest. Okay, that's kind of funny. 
This next letter is from FF Society from Vancouver. This is from September. This says, I think this is some kind of, um, you know, somebody contacted me saying they wanted to send me something about doing like secret things. I thought it was gonna be like a box. I don't know what this is. I just did an escape room and I feel like this is what that is. So this is from a company called FF Society in Vancouver, Canada. They sent this in September. I'm gonna have to read through this, so I don't know exactly what this is, but I wanna say it's like a puzzle. It's some kind of puzzle. Okay, I'm not 100% sure about this. I'm gonna need to read through this. So I'm gonna read through this and then figure out what this is, because I don't really know. And then the last box is this box. This is from Brittany. Brittany sent this box in September as well. There's a cool card. This card is like based off of uh, the Beatles, which is nice. So this is from Brit. She had sent me a, um, a Hawkeye box in the past. So let's see what is in this box. Oh, oh my gosh, is that a freaking squishy? I almost bought <gasps> Oh, I had this in my Amazon cart and I was like, no, don't buy it, but I really wanted to buy it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited right now. Okay, let me show you this. This is a freaking squishy. Apparently these things are now becoming popular again at my site. Oh, this one smells like, it doesn't smell like cake. It smells like um some kind of fruit. Mmm, so it's a keychain. But I wouldn't use it as a keychain. I would just keep it on my desk and squish it. It's slow rising. Oh, this is so cool. It smells so good too. I think maybe straw strawberries? I don't know what it smells like, but oh, this is so satisfying, you guys. I absolutely, I didn't realize, I gave all the other squishies I had away during my carnival, and, and like it was part of the raffle, and then I was like, oh, I wish I would've kept it, cause like, I feel like I could leave this on my desk and it would be a really good stress relieving tool. Ugh, okay. Ripper, you've already won me over. Next we have this cat. This cat, which apparently, oh my gosh, it's a little pouch. You, you zip the, how funny is this? It looks a little bit weird, but you zip the, the tail. So the tail actually is the zipper. It's a little cat plushie and then you can unzip it and then the tail goes to the cat's mouth and you can hide stuff in there. Oh, that's cool. Neat. We have a TMNT cup. I received a bunch of these uh, in my TMNT box. Next we have Latte Kitten Coffee. This is a Tokyo product. This is cute. It's a little plushy, hanging plushy. It's a cat in a teacup. You can never go wrong with a cat in a teacup. Okay, we have a shirt and there's this little note attached to it. What does it say? I designed this shirt and had it printed from Vistaprint. It used to be my Redbubble page. Redbubble.com was taken down. I also have an Instagram with my photos and art. Okay, so you are a digital artist. Let's see what your shirt looks like. This is a medium. And it's black. So Britt designed this shirt. I don't know what it is, but she's the one who designed it. How does it look? Oh, this is so cool! It's the Yellow Ranger! Can you guys see? Sorry, the lighting is so bright. Hold on. Hold on. Look at that. Look at that. Very cool design. That is super cool. Okay, so Britt designed shirts. There's a few of you guys that design shirts. I need to work with you guys so I can get some shirt designs of my own. Oh, wow. Okay, next we have, oh, it's a Street Fighter versus Sanrio, two things that I absolutely love. And we have Chun-Li versus Zangief. These are literally the two characters that I used to be while playing Street Fighter. That's so funny. I love the boy version, the Zangief version of Hello Kitty. It's so funny. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. I didn't even know they had this. That is so amazing, okay. Next, we got this box. I've received um, a mystery box, but it was a bigger version of this. Let's see what's inside here. It's a bunch of little things. Whoa, so let's, oops, sorry. Let's go ahead and see what's in here. Is this a Nickelodeon shot glass? <gasps> this is probably one of the freaking coolest shot glasses I have ever received. Are you kidding me? Look at that. This is a shot glass that has all of the Nicktoon characters on it. There's Rocco's Modern Life, there's Ren and Stimpy, there's Cat Dog, there's, uh, let's see, is there Ah Real Monsters? Yes, there's Ah Real Monsters, there's Rugrats, there's Angry Beavers, there's Wild Thornberries, OMG, hey Arnold, 
Oh, this is great. That is literally the coolest shot glass. I didn't even know they had that. Next, we have this bag of marbles. It's in a Pokemon Meowth bag. Here, there's a little note. Let's see. These are the Pokemon marbles I collected when I was a kid. There are 17 different ones. Oh, let's check it out. Thank you so much for giving me something that is from your childhood. That's so nice. Oh, these are cool. Especially now, you guys know I'm like obsessed with Pokemon right now. So these are little marbles, and each marble has a Pokemon character. This one's Starmie. And they have Seeking, which is a terrible card to play with on Pokemon TCG. Nine Tails. Oh, I like these. They're like chrome marbles, too. There's Nine Tails. We got Doduo and Oddish, and we have Bell Sprout and Weeping Bell. I have never even seen these before. I didn't realize this was like a thing. Look at this. Uh, there's a Chansey, and we have a Slowpoke, we have Gloom, Nidorina, Dodrio, and we have an Electrode. Electrode, Voltorb, and then Electrode have been one of my favorite um, sets for the TCG, like uh, card things, like when you're playing the game. Them and uh, Kangaskhan has been my favorite. Here is a, it looks like a 3D printed Groot. His arm is broken. I don't know if it's in here. Oh, yeah, it is. So his arm broke off. I don't know if she does 3D printing, but this, yes, this is a 3D printed Groot. It's like the little kid Groot, the teenage Groot. I wouldn't say, is it baby Groot? I wouldn't, maybe it's baby Groot, which is really cool. I'll probably try to glue this arm back on. That's cool. I didn't realize that you could, I think it's 3D printed and then hand painted. Some of the marbles came out. Poliwag. Raticate and Machoke. Look at Machoke right there. Huh, I, I have never even seen these or heard of these Pokemon marbles. Oh, there's one more marble. It's of Cloyster. Cloyster. All right, and then we have a Hey Arnold pin. I don't know what this pin is supposed to be of. Is it supposed to be of a Sabertooth Tiger, potentially? We have a little Yellow Ranger magnet. That's a magnet. And then we have a Megazord magnet, which is very cool as well. So that's everything in that little question mark box. And then there's actually a few pops in here. She sent me a Funko Pop of Mick Foley, regular Mick Foley, which I love. He looks so cool in this one too. There you go. I liked regular Mick Foley. When he was mankind, he was a little bit much. We have the Undertaker. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. And we have Chun-Li. This is from the Street Fighter. Oh, this is an FYE exclusive. Let's see. The regular Chun-Li is wearing blue, and this one's wearing red. So this is an FYE exclusive Chun-Li. That's very cool. Awesome. Britt, thank you so much for all of those presents. This is so awesome. Um, all right, that is everything I have. I just want to say a big shout out to everyone who sent me stuff. So Britt, Rose, and Jessica. Thank you guys so much. FF Society, I'm going to have to read that letter and figure out what that is because I think that's a puzzle, so I'm going to have to work on that. You guys are so awesome. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for sending all of these cool, awesome gifts and this super awesome squishy. I'm so excited. Anyways, that is all I have for you guys in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there. And you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what your favorite item out of all of these things was. And please give a huge shout out to Rose, Britt, and Jessica for sending me all of these awesome gifts. You guys are amazing. Amazing! Don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. And also, I have my November giveaway. I keep forgetting to remind people, but that is happening on my channel now, and it actually should pop up on the bottom of this video somewhere at some point. So be on the lookout for that. And before we go, we must do the video shout out! I wonder if my neighbors can hear me yelling, because I'm in the garage. Garage. Today's video shout out goes to Becky Lewis. Becky Lewis, you get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching and commenting on my videos. Appreciate all of the support. Shout out to you, Becky Lewis. Shout out to you. All right, guys. I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, I'm adding this in because I totally forgot. Sorry, Jody. You are awesome, too. I'm so sorry. I forgot to say thank you to, do, to you, Jody. Thank you so much for sending me that Rocket Power shirt from Amazon. I really appreciate it. You are awesome. Thank you, Jody. Everyone give a big shout out to Jody. Yeah, Jody! Woo!